I was adopted when I was three months old. Um, and so adoption has always been a part of my story, something um, that I've been passionate about, something that I've always felt like I wanted to pursue. Four and a half years ago, we started the adoption process and we ended up going the foster care route. We had 13 various ages, kids coming in and out. Didn't quite work out like we were hoping it would. So we kind of gave up on that part and we were gonna look back into just domestic adoption. The social worker that been with us through this whole journey, she called one day out of the blue. You know, our license had expired. Everything was, I mean, we were gonna have to start completely over. Um, she presented it as, you know, um, I have this mom who's on the fence about what she wants to do. She's pretty sure that um, she wants to place baby in foster care um, for a couple weeks until she decides what she feels is 100% right. We were really kind of leery about it at first because we had just come out of um, a, a not so good situation um, with a failed match and we kind of prayed about it, we talked about it, and we both just had a peace. My hopes were that um, when we did adopt that it would be an open adoption. Um, coming from an adoption background and, and not having that access to um, a birth mom or siblings or any type of history or there's zero closure for me as a child. Um, Logan's mom had originally chosen for everything to be closed and we prayed um, a lot that she would um, reconsider that. When Sam came to us when we were in the hospital um, with Logan and told us that um, that's something that she had decided to do, it was, it was really an answer to prayer for us. Um, especially my prayer um, for Logan. and um, The way that it worked out for Logan was that he was born um, about 9.02 and at 9.09 he was in our arms. You know they're thinking she doesn't want him in her life, anything like that. That wasn't the deal at all. She had to make a very hard decision, you know, the best she could and, and she made it and we're very grateful for that. I mean we'll be grateful to her forever. So your parents were leading you in there blindfolded? Yeah. What were you thinking was going to happen? I thought it was just going to be like a really big box. A what? Like a really big box or something. Oh, you thought they were going to give you something in a really big box? Yeah. What did you do when you found out that it was a new little brother? So we're about to go into court here. Uh, the Darnells, Lord willing, are at the end of their adoption journey. It's been about three months since the child was born and placed for adoption in their home. Oh, this is my mother. Let me make sure they make This is your final decree of adoption, signed, sealed, delivered, full and final. Thank you very much. There was bad times, there were sad times, there were just, you know, frustrating times that we just didn't know what to do. Um, but on that day, when you finally, when everything finally comes together and it's finally over, you don't remember the four and a half years, you don't remember that. You don't remember all the bad, you know, you're, you're here. You know, God is writing a story, um, and it's a beautiful story. Um, it doesn't always look like the story that you think it's going to look like, but when it finally all comes together, it all makes perfect sense. Everything, um, everything that we went through, every day that we waited, it all makes absolute perfect sense now, looking back. You know, that's just God. 